Okay, in this video we're going to look at club path and face angle. So TrackMan records everything off of its zero line. Anything pointing or moving to the right is going to be a positive number. Anything moving left or pointing left is going to be negative. So we have path, which is going to be a moving number, and face that's going to be a pointing number. So if my club is moving negative or left, it's going to be going this way positive would be moving this way. Now if we look at the club face angle, if it's moving in this direction but it's pointing to the right, it's going to be positive. And if it's moving that way but pointing to the left, it's going to be negative. So I'm going to hit a shot here. We're going to try and see if we can hit everybody's favorite, the slice. I have a four iron. Let's see how I do. Okay, caught a little in the heel. All right, so on this one, I have a path that's 13 degrees negative. So my club is swinging heavily to the left and the face is 0.7 to the right. So that means that I have almost 14 degrees difference. The bigger the difference here, the more curve you're gonna see on a shot. So look at that relative to hopefully a straighter golf shot. and see what we get here. So now I've got a path at negative 2.4 and a face at 0.9 negative. So this tells me that I've only got one and a half difference here. So you can see there's less curve on that golf ball versus the first one. So really understanding the difference between those. Ideally you want them both to be in the same direction. So you see here I have negative the ball's gonna start left, fade back. You don't really wanna get where they're opposite, where like one's positive and one's negative, because you're gonna have a hard time finding the target unless you're missing the middle of the face and then everything changes if we're in toes and heels because there's gonna be some adjustments, especially as we get into the woods. Okay, so if I wanna make the ball draw, I'm gonna to need to get my path to the right and I might have to have the face to the right as well, except I always want the path to just be a little bit more right than the face, and that's what's gonna create the curve. If the face gets right of that path, the ball start too far right, and it won't have the curve to come back because we have to have a face that's close to the path, okay? Let's see if we can hit one here. That's how we do. So I got a club path that's six to the right, the face that's two. So if you look on the here, you can see the ball started right and turned back to the left. Probably a little bit too much on that one, but you can see how that's creating the, the draw shape there. Okay, so that's how we utilize face and path to create curves on the golf ball. So rule number one really is keep them both in the same direction. You don't want one negative, one positive because you really just will struggle to find the target. 